Number one, what is the current in milliamperes produced by the solar cells of a pocket calculator through which four coulombs of charge passes in four hours? All right. So the whole idea of current, uh, you can think about it like fluid current, actually. It's just the amount of charge flowing through a, a particular point in time. So let's just say, you know, you have this particular point right here in time. You have a certain amount then of charge flowing past that particular point. They told us that it's going to be four coulombs worth. And they told us then how long it's going to take for this amount of charge to pass this particular point. They told us it's going to take four hours. Okay. Now current um, in physics here is going to be measured in coulombs per second. Coulomb per second. And that is known as an ampere. Okay. So the first thing is I want to solve for current in amperes. So how do we do that? Well, the current formula is again going to be equal to the change in the charge passing a particular point divided by the change in that time, or just charge per time. You can think of it like that, just like we just discussed. And all I'm going to do now here is plug in the values. I have four coulombs worth of charge, so that's good. That's the unit for charge. And the time though, well, we got it in hours. So we need that in seconds, right? So how do we do that conversion? We simply take the four hours, multiply it then by, right, you can put one hour on the bottom, 60 minutes in an hour, and then you got every minute there are 60 seconds, right? So basically it's just going to be 3,600 here multiplied by four. So what do we get? Plug it into the calculator and we get about 14,400. So 14,400 seconds are in four hours. So we plug that value in, 14,400, and voila, what does the calculator tell us? Four divided by that value, the current here will be 2.78 times 10 to the minus fourth. Now that is in amps, or ampere. But do they want it in amps, or ampere? No, they want it in milli, oh boy. So all we gotta do basically is simply convert this, right? You can then just simply take, so let me just erase this one second, just so we have not too much going on. So I can basically take that value, right? We know that amps compared to milliamps, we know that there are going to be 1000 millis in one base unit. So we can multiply that simply by 1000. And the current here will then become two, sorry, it'll become 2.78 times 10 to the minus one now, or in other words, if you had to convert that not into scientific notation, into standard notation, it would be 0.278 milliamps. And that's it. All right, so hopefully this helps guys. I appreciate it very much. Please remember to help us out and subscribe. And we got a nice little button over here on the bottom right. All you gotta do is hit it. You know you wanna do it. Take care.